Hi and welcome to today's craft session with me Bev. I'm sorry Evelyn's not here. Um, we've lost her to the paddling pool today. Um, so today I thought I would show you how to make batik, um, which is a traditional way of creating patterns on a piece of fabric. Um, I believe that the Indonesians used to do this on, on um, bits of silk um, and they would traditionally use hot wax but today we're going to use some PVA glue instead of hot wax. Um, makes it a little bit safer um, and it's probably easier to do at home as well. So what you're going to need today then is a piece of fabric. Um, you could even try this on a t-shirt if you wanted to. Um, I guess it's nice to have a trial run with it first before you, you go ahead and start decorating your t-shirts. Um, what you'll also need is some greaseproof paper, um, PVA glue, um, I've got some fabric paint here, I've got the Dylon fabric paints, um, and then you'll also need a brush as well. Um, there is a stage in this that requires an iron, um, so I would suggest that you get an adult to do that part, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, so first off, what you need to do is create a pattern on here. Um, now, it is Mental Health Awareness Week this week, and so I have decided that I'm going to do a squiggle for Mental Health Awareness Week. Um, Mind are requesting that people put blue squiggles up in their windows alongside their NHS rainbows. Um, so that's what we're aiming for today. So first off we're going to use our glue and create a pattern on, on your fabric. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some squiggles, do a bit of a swirl in the middle. So my glue's got <clears throat> this really handy um, nib on the end. If you can get hold of some glue that has one of those on, then that would help you a lot. If not, you could use a brush. You don't want to push it too much into the fabric, though, if you're using a brush. Um, my fabric is on a piece of greaseproof paper because this glue will sink through the fabric and you don't want your fabric being glued to your kitchen table or wherever you do your crafts. So once you've drawn your design on your fabric you'll need to let it dry. It is very sunny outside today and um, so you could leave it out there. Just be aware that if it's a little bit windy it might lift, lift off in the wind. Um, it'll take a fair few hours for this to dry so you could make some more patterns whilst you're waiting um, um, it, it, this process does require a little bit of patience so when your fabric is dry um, you'll then need to start thinking about uh, mixing your fabric paint a little bit. Um, now I've chosen different coloured blues, obviously this is up to you, whatever colours you want, um, but I've chosen blues specifically um, for the Mental Health Awareness Week. Um, <clears throat> the Dylon fabric paints are quite thick, so I'm just going to pour a little bit into a pot and then I'm going to mix that with a little bit of water. Um, the more water you put in, the more washed out the colours are going to look. Um, so I guess just have a think about how um, deep you want your colours to be. So just mix that together.
So I've got my colours made up. Um, you could just paint your fabric one colour. <clears throat> I'm going to paint mine um, with different patches of different blues on. So you're just going to go ahead, making sure you've still got your wax proof paper underneath and brush on the colour. And you'll see that the colour won't grab onto the areas where you've got your glue. So I'm just going to go pretty random here with this. Okay, so I've painted all my fabric now and again, you need to leave that to dry. Um, there are different ways of being able to paint your fabric. You could even flick paint off your, off your brush. Um, that creates lots of lovely speckles on there. Um, like I say, just doing it all one colour um, and I've gone for the, the sort of blotchy. Um, you could even draw squiggles on with, with the paint. Just remember that it does sort of bleed into each other a little bit. Um, so I'm going to leave that to dry now and I'll show you what to do once that's dry. So my fabric is dry now. The, the paint's all dried in there. Um, and to set the paint um, onto the fabric... Um, so it doesn't wash out, you now need an adult's help. You'll need to sandwich the fabric in between two old towels um, and then continue to iron the fabric. And once you've done that, you need to try and get the glue out. Um, this is done really easily, actually. You just pop it in a bowl full of cold water and then use a scrubbing brush to scrub all of the glue out. Then once you've done that you can put it in the wash then, in the washing machine on a cold wash um, and it'll be done. So scrubbed and washed. Here's my design um, and this is another one that I did just to show you some different techniques. So this is what happens when you flick the paint, a bit like Jackson Pollock, I guess. A um, couple of different colours. This one's just one colour. Again, this is just one colour. And these are all different um, designs that I was messing about with, um, with the glue. So I hope you've enjoyed today's session. I really also hope that you can send some pictures in of the lovely squiggles. Um, and we will see you again soon. Take care.